back in the South Florida, the bottom of the clip of the Gunshine State. Ha. What them boys still boring in that way? Big plate, get it for the 18 if you straight. Get K and stop hating. It's the model of the state. Ha. A lot of face, but it's still real around here. That foreign talk that can get. You. All right, we back, man. Crib talk, Caneville. Um, Rough week for Manny this week, man. He going up to North Carolina. Two, two things, two things. They, they gave him a bye week. <laughs> he got two weeks to prepare, and you're going to North Carolina. Got two strikes already on my big dog, yeah. Manny. <laughs> Manny Diaz. Um, we got North Carolina. What? What time? What time are we playing? I think it's three thirty Saturday. Three thirty Saturday at North Carolina. Uh, North Carolina been up and down. Sometimes they put up points. Um, sometimes they put up points against Florida State. They looked pretty, pretty bad the other day. Um, University of Miami falls to Virginia, but in the second half they looked a little different, right? What you saw in the second half from University of Miami? Um, I mean, the second half the whole offensive line came together. They played a lot better. That probably was the best the offensive line played all year. Um, Why? Why do you feel like that? They protected. What did they do? I mean, they 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 open holes. Uh, they gave they 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 gave them running room. The running backs they open on. Uh, they protect uh, uh, TBD a lot more. Mm-hmm. Gave them time to throw the ball. Um, they just looked like the unit. Just you know, once they got it together, it looked like they came together and they blocked better. Um, so you just felt they played better. I think getting Rooster back. I think getting Rooster back helps the running game. I think anytime you get a running game, um, you can get some balance going on and you kind of throw the defense off. Uh, yeah. TVD, this will be his second well, second start, right? Third. Third, Third start? Third start. Yeah, remember Central Connecticut. I mean, um, Central the House of the Blind don't count. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> this is third, so he gets his third star. So we should see a better TVD, all right? Better lastly, TVD. Yeah. They should be trying to figure some stuff yeah, out, right? Yeah, should, yeah. So they they go to they, they go up to North Carolina, which what's the spread gonna be? What do you think spread is? It's just Man, weird. I don't even know North how to Carolina, call it anymore. By North Carolina losing, the spread probably be North Carolina <laughs> minus four. You think they still be favorite? Yeah, of course. Oh my god, this is horrible. Mac Brown don't lose to Manny Diaz. <laughs> so minus four. I'm just that's what I'm thinking. It, it, if North Carolina would have beat Florida State, it probably would have been ten minus ten. But uh-huh. since they lost, that minus four maybe. So you think it opens up minus four, Miami at North Carolina. Uh, <clears throat> Miami going up there with some questions to answer. Um, Manny Diaz is kind of on some, a, a whole lot. <laughs> kind of on a fire seat. Um, seat's on fire. I mean, oh, it's fire. Not, it's <laughs> I don't even know how he's sitting in it. It's that around with the fire stickers to try to put the seat out, but the seat's on fire. What is it about North Carolina you 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 think is different? What do you think is different from last year? They lost year? a lot. They lost the hard all their playmakers, man, that, that made that offense go. They lost both running backs? Both running backs, both receivers. Um the offensive line not blocking how they was last year. They lost a lot, man. The team just don't look it just it is like a whole totally different team. Um But again, they you know is it just seems somehow, man, the team gets ready to play Miami, and they mm-hmm. like they shoot steroids and says, "Oh, we got Miami. Let's go." <laughs> Were they ever up yesterday versus Florida State? Nah, not one time. No, no, no. They was. I think they was up three zip or ten. ten no, they was up ten zip. Matter of fact, or three zip, something like. It that. It was up. Yeah. And, and Florida State. Plus, they came back, and that's it. Two they teams. did the same thing to last year. Florida State beat them last year, so. Maybe they got the number on um, North Carolina. We need to call them. To, yeah. Can we borrow it? Yeah. Uh, in the comment section below, I want to talk about the comment section below. Something I want to bring up. Uh, before the season started, we had a top five ACC cornerback, preseason, All America, whatever he. Well, he made one of the lists <clears throat> to Corey Couch. <clears throat> when the season started, to Corey Couch didn't didn't start. He didn't start. Um, he comes in. What did he come in on? Did he come in on third down? Or? I mean, he comes in a lot, but um, and they have him probably at the slot a lot more, right? Stuff like that. But we've seen Ivy struggle. Let us know in the comment section below. Why? Why, why do y'all think the Corey Cows didn't start? Like, why? How is the Corey Cows not out there? CB one. 
you know what I'm saying? He proved that he should be. He had preseason accolades. Like, like what, 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 what changed? Let us know in the comment section below. I want to hear what y'all think. Y'all, y'all are the smart ones. You know what I'm saying? What changed? Well, how does Corey Couch didn't start and, and wasn't on the field, Alabama? Because we was Ivy, Tyreek, right? Tyreek made the play, so he was out there, and it was Ivy on the other side. Um, so let us know in the comment section below. What do y'all think happened to to Corey Couch? Um, <clears throat> if you had to pick an MVP this year, right? So far, who would MVP be? The punter, <laughs> the punter, man, the best player on our team, the punter. You going to the league? <laughs> I mean, he should go to the league. Can he but go I to the know, league know, like I that? Know, I don't know his, his age because he's old, though. He's old. So that don't matter. matter. I mean, as a punter, you know, you. I don't. Yeah, punter probably, but um, you talk about about the style he punts. Yeah. It depends, man, because, you know, the NFL, like, they're specializing in block that punt. Like, yeah. now he takes the ball too long. Right. But he could punt quick because I've seen teams try to block it, and he punts it quick, and right. he still is effective. So, yeah, he goes to the lead. You think so? He's, that's the MVP of the team. <laughs> Who else? That's the MVP of the team. I don't know. Who will be second? Who will be second? Ah. It, it, it was gonna be the kicker. It was gonna be the kicker. It'd be Rambo. Um, maybe. Maybe. Maybe Rambo and the kicker split. Split second. Second. Nobody else is having a good year. Nobody else. Nobody. Man. <laughs> Let me think. Sad time. I mean, think off top. Who's who's having a year? You can say, okay, that's the MVP of the team. It would have been King. I mean, but and he's not having a great year. Okay, so I'm like, like, it's the punter. That's it's our, the punter. And that's, that's a lot of our problem. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of our problem. But you just saying it's the punter. Why? Because we, he's been doing a good job, but we just see I a mean, lot of I mean, no, he's the only one who's actually doing his job. Every, every, time, he, every time he's he called to do his one. job, he's doing his job. He's the only one. <laughs> hey, man, I'm just trying to keep it real with you guys. Y'all watching the game, too. He's the only one doing his job every time he's called to do his job. So, so predict predict the game Saturday. Give me a score, man. Who you think gonna win? Man, I'm a Kane fan, but I think North Carolina gonna probably fifty six to thirty something. You think they'll put fifty six points on? Yeah, man. Look, North Carolina. I just say somehow when a team figures they gotta play Miami, they steroid themselves, whatever, and they gonna come play. And we just say, hey. uh, Ah, oh, dang, now, by the time halftime is 35-7, everybody be like, yeah, X was right. <laughs> Disclaimer, man, we're not, we're, not, we're not saying that anybody uses steroids. <laughs> we're not, we haven't never seen any needles getting off anybody's nah, nah, bus. Nah, nah, nah. We just, he's just talking. I'm saying, they get, they get gummy up. Berry ju- gummy they berry get juice. They, they get, get gummy berry it. juice. Yeah. And they get up to play. Man, you know the ACC is crazy, bro. I wouldn't be surprised if Miami going there and blow North Carolina out, fool. The ACC is just crazy. Man, like they, they got to they, they show me. We done had the fight. They, they done had the team meeting. I wouldn't be surprised if Miami going there, man, and blow North Carolina out. The fans wake back up. And then who we got next? North Carolina State, right after that. Another <laughs> offense that, that could put up 100 points on us. I wouldn't be surprised, though. I wouldn't be surprised. The ACC is, is crazy, crazy, man. Look, man, I tweeted I tweeted yesterday. I said, man, the three teams that were supposed to represent the ACC are all bad. Which three teams? Clemson, North Carolina, you know. All three were supposed to at least represent the ACC in some form. I think we judge the Clemson on who they were in the past. I don't think they're as bad as we think they are. Clemson can't score. They ain't looking bad. They can't Miami score. They, the they got... One. One, right? Yeah, they lost to Georgia and they lost to uh, whoever. I wait for us, I guess. Whoever we beat them, but do they win? If you had to pick the field, if you had to pick Clemson or the field, who wins the ACC this year? Clemson. <laughs> <laughs> so they gonna beat Wake Forest regardless. I mean, that's just off what you know. But as of now, you see Clemson and they like, dang. Boy, so Clemson or the field, you still gonna pick Clemson? Yeah, I'm gonna pick Clemson. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I still think they're good defensively. Uh huh. Um, but it's just the offense not clicking. Um, that quarterback not what we used to seeing. Like I honestly think what we're seeing is what I talked about, man. It's like parody. 
you got older kids. You bring back the older kids in 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 college football, and you got like you got instant parity. Like you got you have instant parity. Like so, why you so, don't got that? Cause we got the oldest kids in college football. Cause I don't think it's about. I, I think it's about having old kids in a good system. I think sometimes players leave a year just too early. Like they they go and they were like, man, if we could have had Chase on them back one more year, you know what I'm saying? We had it. I think, I think if you were, I think if you some some teams brought back garbage. You get what I'm saying? Like some teams brought back mediocre players. Because they were in a mediocre system. Some coaches are on the verge of making it happen, as you can see, Wake Forest's, the, the the Iowa's, and then their players leave. You get one more year with the players, and all of a sudden, Pack House, Iowa takes down Penn State. You know what I'm saying? So it's not just that the players are older, it's that the players are older in a good system. Does that make sense? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Kind of like how. So you could have got worse this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bring it back. <laughs> Meaning that mediocrity to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I think it instantly created parity. That's my only answer for what's going on in college football, bro. LSU at Kentucky. I don't, LSU lost, right? Yeah, Kentucky beat the hell out of them, man. They beat them bad? Stoops to you. Stoops to the you. <laughs> I've been calling it for years. Stoops to the you. Listen, I, 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 that's what I think. I, I think, man. And it's a lot of luck, too, man. You get Fahim Ali's son who decides to come back. Uh, Josh Ali, wide receiver out of Kentucky. Another South Florida kid that happens to get up out of South Florida. <laughs> Looking to transfer somewhere. Wow. Still, still this. About to go to Florida State with Norvell, then they back off. Ali played ball with Norvell. Finna go to Florida State with Norvell, they back off. He goes back to Kentucky. Kentucky's having the best year they've had in, what, 20 years maybe? Yeah, undefeated. Like, literally. Right. <laughs> right. Sometimes it's just luck, too, though. Sometimes it's just luck and it's timing of, of, of these things. But I think that's my philosophy, man. Y'all let us know in the comment section below. Why do y'all think college football looks the way it looks? CBS had a stat the other day with all the top 25 teams that done lost. Man, we just was watching it, and they said Alabama's the 40th team to be ranked and lose a game. Just think about this. This is my, my third eye. If college football becomes more parody, it becomes more interesting to watch. Now I watch Ohio versus Penn State because it makes sense, then that's just more money for TV deals. It's a better product. Um, I mean, but, you know, Iowa being undefeated, ranked number three, and Penn State being undefeated, ranked number dog. four, you're going to watch that game. Now, Iowa being not ranked, and then Penn State not ranked, you're not going to watch that game. It's just you watch the games that's going to, you think that's, oh, well, there's two, two ranked teams playing against each other. But that's exactly what I'm saying, my brother. How the fuck does Iowa get to number three? <laughs> How does they get there? You want me to explain? How? Because teams like you don't lose. Teams like North Carolina lose. Teams like Clemson lose it. No. Teams a, like it's, you lose it. So guess what? Somebody got to be ranked. Well, no. That's not why they rank. They rank because they're undefeated and they and, beat yeah, Penn State. And they beat and, teams. Right. So what I'm saying is, 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 is if the parity, if Iowa now makes sense and, and Wake Forest now makes sense and, and now you have a, a broader product to show people there's more money for TV stations. They knew what they were doing. They created free agency. I, I, I've been I've been saying it, dog. Maybe we're going to wait to Kirk Herbstreit said again this time. They created free agency. They allow kids to transfer, which gives the, the mediocre colleges a chance to get, get better with kids. Yeah, get kids yeah. You know what I'm saying? And now all of a sudden, you see that some of these mediocre colleges have great coaches and great systems there. Because you just you give them a little hope, and now they're kicking people's ass. Yeah, like Kentucky and Wake Forest are undefeated. Two basketball schools. <laughs> Man, that's, that pass Wake Forest, I mean, quarterback through in that overtime, man, was, was nasty, fool. That was the Mike Harley route. <laughs> that was nasty. For the win, man. For the win. Yeah, man, but now nah, it's, 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 it, yesterday, show, yesterday basically shown that if you will does decide to part ways with Manny Diaz, you have to go with an offensive guy. 
got you. Got to get your offensive coach. Because the, how the game has changed. Defense they, they don't even matter no more. <laughs> Nobody's playing defense. Everybody's scoring 40, 50 points. Right. You got to get your offensive guy. I think your defense has to be able to take the ball away. Yeah, and, take the ball away when you can. And hit people hard. <laughs> I, think, I think Georgia might be the only team that actually plays defense. Like, I don't think, no, you barely can score on Georgia. That's the only team I've seen. Everybody else, you can score on them. Yeah. Yeah, even so, though 41, gotta, Alabama lost, what, 41 to 37? 41 38. You got to get your offensive coach. 41 38, um, yeah. Um, or get your coach, man, the alpha coach who's going to have the whole team discipline, like Stoops. But. You saw the, the kick that, that beat Alabama last night? Yeah. You saw it, how it. Oh, that thing was looking like. Oh. But, but the kicker, he didn't He didn't blink. He knew it was money. That motherfucker was, was, was turning like that. Yeah. Was, my bar's not his kick ain't. <laughs> why, why, why we couldn't get a little curve in there, man? Huh? I don't know, man. I, I, I still die. Whatever. We ain't talking about that. Shout out to little Jose, man. I, Jose still a homie, man. Shout out to little Jose, homie, man. man. I, that hurt me. When I actually saw it, because I didn't get to see it. I was walking out the stadium. I didn't get to see it. I heard the man say, Miss University of Miami loses. And it just yeah, sounded I was outside the stadium already. And oh, I, just heard, I heard everybody say, yeah. It sounded like he made wow, it, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, damn, okay, he made it. Then that homer said, damn, he missed it. I'm like, nigga, what? <laughs> it sounded like he made it. Standing on the outside, it did. They, they said, yeah, they screamed. <gasps> and then he said, Miami loses. <laughs> he missed Phil, though. Miami loses. You heard him announce it, right? No, nah, I'm telling I, I man, all I heard was the crowd. I'm like, oh, he, he won. Oh, he man. not. Well, I heard him announce it, because I was still close to the stadium, though. I actually heard him, I actually heard him announce it. Um, and because me and me and Larry Blue, we walked out at the same time. Larry like, yeah, it's over. And I'm like, yeah, dang, it's gonna, we got to lose this game again. And then, as you know, uh-oh, well, we coming back. Right. Oh, but we finna win. And he finna kick, uh-oh, the crowd goes wild. And I want to say, damn, man, he actually missed the kick. Man, I don't like to be Debbie Downer, man. But walking out that stadium, dog, we had all the momentum. I was just thinking to myself, there's no way we could lose this game. Like, either we're going to score a touchdown or kick a field goal. That's why I left. Like, we had all the momentum. And then... Man, Virginia, was they were dead tired. Them players were falling out. down. And I'm like, man, you score the touchdown. Go for the touchdown, man. And if you got three plays to go for a touchdown, go for the touchdown. And then right. you don't get it, you kick the field goal. Like, you don't, so let me just settle for a field goal because we think this is what's right to do. No. Did we ask any questions why Clark was in the game? The cornerback? Like, how, why was nah. that? How did um, that? What? Like, we, we had, that was my first time. Oh, you talking about on, on, that, on that play when he got yeah. the ball on his back? He, he seen. Yeah, that was him. He was Tommy in position. Thought, he thought he had interception. He was listen, He was in position. It's a picture out there that shows him hiring everybody with the ball in his the hand. The ball in his hand. And it was like, what if I told you this end up in the Virginia yeah. touchdown? The ball in his hand, and then I guess it's like when he hit the flow and the ball bounces back up in the air, it just dropped perfectly in the But how did, well, why was he, like, why was he out there? Was Tyree Stevens hurt? Because Tyree didn't come back in the game anymore. He, he stopped returning punts. I don't. I think he was. I don't. I didn't even pay attention to that. Yeah, he was no longer returning points. Jacoby was back there. George was back there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and now yeah, Clark yeah. is in the game. Like maybe, maybe he got hurt or something. We need to look into that, bro. Um, I don't know. Maybe he got hurt. Uh, Probably. Um, but even even that, I think that was like a nickel play too. So like, have we ever seen him in the game? Not not nickel play, but um, almost like prevent because they just threw the ball like hell Mary did. You ever saw him in the game? This year, no. What is he? What is he? Sophomore? Red shirt freshman or sophomore? One of them. He was in position. Got to make that play. <laughs> Did it just turn into Gotta like? Oh yeah, he was, he was in position. How many times a player from UM has been in position to make the interception and they don't get the interception? And he made the play. Like he jumped higher than anybody and got his hands on the ball. He just served it to <laughs> served it up to the wide receiver. <laughs> At that point, I already said, yeah, boy, hey, we going to lose. Because if ball's dropping the people's hand like that, there's no way you're going to beat them. But listen, man, y'all let us know in the comment section below. What, what, what's going to happen in North Carolina this weekend? Let, let us know. Y'all think the team done pulled it together? They done had a team-only meeting? Then who can't say Cam Harris talk? Whoever they say talk. It's a Cam Harris talk, probably Bubba. Um, 
a lot of people be hitting me up. They say, damn, X man, you think Manny lost a locker room? I'm like, man, I ain't in a locker room. I don't know. But y'all say that every time a, a team lose, the oh, team lost the locker room. I mean. Yeah, so let us know in the conversation below, man. What y'all think going to happen in North Carolina this week, bro? The ACC is crazy. It's wide open. Miami just got to wake up. So let us know in the conversation. Make sure y'all like, share. Anything else, bro? Next time, man. Edge. <laughs> 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 <laughs>